continue to follow breaking news this morning. This is a live look in Perry, Iowa, an active shooter investigation there. Uh, this shooting happening at the high school in Perry, Iowa, which is 40 minutes northwest of Des Moines. We're still waiting for additional information on any victims, but as of about 45 minutes ago, it was still an active shooter situation. There's a look of where that is located. According to NBC News, multiple ambulances could be seen coming and going. A heavy mm -hmm. police presence out there. This is a small community. This high school only has around 1,700 uh, students that go there. We still have a lot of questions. What led to the shooting? Mm -hmm. uh, how many suspects were involved? If he was a former student or had any connection, uh, he or she had any connection to the school. Um, if there are any casualties and how many? A lot of questions and hopefully we have We'll have some answers when uh, police hold a news conference at the top of the hour at 11 a.m. Eastern. And of course, when something like this happens, you know, you you automatically your heart drops, you know, because you think of kids in their first day back from winter break, and you just think about how. Um how familiar and unfortunately familiar this situation is to us, especially as we report on this, you know, throughout our careers. Um, but it also has a ripple effect on small communities, especially. Um, and, and just to give some logistics here, um, this came in at the high school about 7:40 um, in local time. The middle school that was cleared around 8:25. Uh, a second team cleared the high school by 8:27, so you can tell that was really rapid there. And then the elementary school was evacuated and dismissed by 8:32. So that ripple effect, just putting everyone on lockdown essentially in that community um, because like Jay was saying we don't know who all is involved here we don't know if there are other um, shooters that are out there and, and could potentially harm others so um, it's, it's a evolving situation a very fluid situation um, but as we learn more of course we'll bring that to you we have some reaction coming in as well from the school board president mm -hmm. uh, Linda Andorf board president for the Perry Community School District said of the shooting calling it terrible it is horrendously awful, she said. People need to figure out their life. This is just disgusting. It's terrible, end quote. Mm -hmm.